Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to create an underwater muffle effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. In the last tutorial, we did the visual aspect of this. We created this underwater sort of visual overlay that we can put onto our footage and make it look like it's underwater. However, what we're going to do this time is we want to affect the audio because a lot of times the audio is just as, if not more, important than the video to sell the effect. So this is what we're going to be doing. This is the before, and then it's going to transition into it and then transition out of it. So listen to the audio. And there you have it. That is what we're going to be creating today. Like I said, this is a very simple effect. So let's just jump right into it. All we have to do is add something called a low pass filter. So let's click on our audio right here and I can show you what we've done. If we search in our effects over here for low pass, it'll be under audio effects and then low pass. We click it, we drag it onto the, the uh, audio that we want this to be affected with. And then we just go up here into the low pass right at the very beginning. What we do is we turn this all the way up. And what we're going to do is right before the effect, we're going to drag this really, really high. Make sure to turn on the uh, animation here on the left side. Bring this all the way really high. Then move forward into the effect and drag this down to somewhere around like 450. Then we're going to move to the right side and do the exact opposite. So we're going to drop a keyframe, move it out of here and then just drag it really, really high. And what this is doing is it's just creating a cutoff. Whenever you go underwater, uh, the sort of the higher pitches get distorted out so you can't hear them at all and only the low frequencies really make it through and that is what we're creating right here so now we've created this, this simple animation and we have the effect just like that it is really that simple if you have a whole bunch of audio effects that you want to apply it to uh, what's what you can do is if you highlight everything, right click and hit nest, it will put it all into the exact same uh, audio track down here. And then you can just apply the effect as a whole to everything. But that is it. Thanks for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below on our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and make a video every other day on Adobe related products. And until next time, guys, see ya.